Hey there. Thanks for coming. The God within me salute the God within you. Namaste. That's what that means. I want to tell you a beautiful story about meditation. And I just learned recently that I can tie this story to Ramakrishna. I knew the story. I've known it for about 15, 20 years, but I just discovered recently that it's tied to Ramakrishna. And it's talking about meditation. A farmer came to Ramakrishna one day and said, I'd like to learn to meditate. And the Ramakrishna said, well, fine. What would you like to meditate? What God would you like to meditate on? He says, oh, Swami, I'm not interested in all those gods and goddesses. I don't see them. I don't know them. Uh, I'd rather med meditate on something else. And so Ramakrishna thought for a second, and he said, well, what do you like? He says, well, I have this buffalo. My God, this buffalo, I love this buffalo. Uh, sometimes I dream about it. You know, it's like a kid or a child to me. He says, well, Christmas is fine. Go back, sit in your room, and meditate on the buffalo. He says, really? I can do that? He says, sure, you can meditate on anything. Okay, so he went back, he went into his room and he had his buffalo in the, in the, he brought it into the hut. And, uh, then he moved into a smaller room after a day or so because he could see the buffalo in his mind. So he was in this smaller hut. And he could see the buffalo in front of him chewing its cud, and he was just entranced with it. Two or three days went by, and his wife got worried. She didn't know what was happening because she didn't go to see Ramakrishna with her husband. But she knew he he had gone there, and this had come after her, so she he, she couldn't distract him enough to find out from him what he was doing. He, he was not paying attention to anything. So she went to Ramakrishna and says, Ramakrishna, you, something's happened to my husband. He's not paying any attention to anybody. It's been two or three days. He doesn't eat. He doesn't sleep. He's just sitting there. Ramakrishna says, oh. So he goes to see the farmer in his little hut. He stands outside and he says, come out. And the farmer heard him. He says, Swami, how nice of you to come visit me. And Ramakrishna says, come out of the hut. And the student got up and he came to the door and he says, Oh, Swami, I can't come out. My horns are too big to go through the door. Ramakrishna says, chop off the horns and come out. He says, okay. So you imagine the horns of the, of the buffalo being cut off. He stuck his head out. He says, oh Swami, my head comes out, but I can't get through the door with my body. It's too big. So Ramakrishna says, cut off your head, the, the, the buffalo's head. He says, really? So he imagined the head of the buffalo was cut off and the buffalo died in his visualization. So the spell was broken and it came out. What does this story illustrate? It illustrates that the power of meditation can affect your environment. It illustrates when you meditate, the object of meditation 
the person, the observer, and the act of observation collapse. In this case, the farmer became the buffalo. So that's what samadhi is, is those three things collapsing into one. So then this is a test to determine how your meditation is going. Whatever you meditate on, you become. Or it becomes you. So then there's no difference between them. The farmer became the buffalo in his mind. That is Samadhi. So when people talk about all oh, this subject, unless that is in the discussion, then it's not real Samadhi. Okay? And I just wanted to share this beautiful story so you could understand what meditation should be and what samadhi is. Thank you.